millennials out there. I'm gonna be able to pronounce it. I'm gonna be able to pronounce it. Blame mad. It's like French is my first language. I'm just saying so. Yeah. Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue da ami canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. I hope you're doing fine today. This is another day, another week, and another video of me. I'm just saying. <laughs> I hope you had an amazing weekend. Definitely getting closer to the winter. Being gray and gray and dark gray and moody, I can't take it anymore. I just need some sun. I don't care about the warmth that much. I just want the sun. But you know, it's not the topic for today. So. This is on the title of this video. There's a couple of stuff that I needed to just update here. There's still gonna be the same basic rules when it comes to going to an interview, of course. And there's a couple of things that has changed throughout the generation. Of course, you are not gonna wear anything like or something like You got the idea, really a good simple guide on how to dress up for interview for all millennials, millennials out there. I'm gonna be able to pronounce it, I'm gonna be able to pronounce it. Blame mad, it's like French is my first language, I'm just saying so, yeah. Just needed to make it clear like to me it's super clear but definitely not for all people out there millennials are people that were born in the late 80s beginning of 90s and that actually are around like 28 27 30s kind of turn point where we are just getting into careers we're getting more and more serious on what we want to do for our lives the work market has changed tremendously like let me just take a look and you know I love giving advice I love giving tips and I was like well this yeah you know we need an update here because everything that people like generation before used to do we can dress the same way if you haven't yet please subscribe I do fashion related advice video twice a week on Tuesday and Thursday 3 p.m. Easter time every single week that's my passion and being a stylist and just a human being Altogether, I just love sharing advice. If I can help people through fashion, if I can help people build their self-confidence through fashion, why not do it? <laughs> really really learned a lot about myself through fashion and I'm still learning a lot more about myself till today it's really nice a great journey for me and I just want to share it with you all you know so I have a lot of quick for me gonna have a lot of dancing videos from time to time because well guess what I love dancing just fine I have a lot of laughs it's like just therapeutic to me but either way time, let's get to it let's just get efficient here you know yeah it's all about that as well i'm telling you i'm a little bit cray cray when it comes to it but you know it's all for the good reasons here <laughs> just really big nose that i need to claim <laughs> need to scream out there i mean i'm really sorry for it but we are done with pantyhose. Whenever I see a freaking picture or freaking video on it, I don't understand the point. It's atrocious. <laughs> I'm sorry. Second thing that I need to say when it comes to like going to an interview, contrary to what people think and would tell you in general, like, is to wear black or white. Black can be harsh. Not every skin tone can handle it and sometimes it just can give you more mean look than what you actually look like because it's like that harsh. You can go with like navy blue, the gray corporate office, definitely go with that kind of like shade softer, the maroon, the brown, not the flash one but really deep but yet light and not as dark as the black one in doubt. Stay away from that. 
<laughs> definitely stay away from that wine is not good either a lot of time you're gonna be told to wear black or white because white brings more brightness but sometimes even that brightness could be too much because it's gonna wash you out so it's something else that you don't want and blue is good because it's like really soft to the eye it's even something that's suggested for any really important negotiation because you want to get to a hot pink lips this is not even something that I would suggest I'm just saying leave a comment down below I'll be more than happy to just help you and always remember that people will always remember how they felt about you probably why colors or how you can coordinate your outfit could be really important and feeling is gonna be even more important because they're gonna remember you in that kind of more emotional way that's what you want they have a good feeling about you it could be a really extra plus for you compared to other candidates so just keep in mind that people will always remember about how great they felt about you that's the key here the first three to five minutes on an interview are the most important from the moment you shake the hand somebody that's gonna give you an interview is gonna be sure of what you can do for the companies based on even the way you're gonna shake your hands where you're gonna look at them so always keep that in mind or i was just wondering how i could just adapt myself to any kind of interview i could see the difference like even the difference people are gonna treat you you're gonna feel it so at the end of the day it's a human being talking to another human being so why are you gonna make the difference you just realize that people forget that a lot you're talking to a human being before talking to a company what's a person like and that's easy to find like the website you got linkedin you got facebook the picture can say a lot observe the way they're gonna look at you and observe the way they're gonna ask you questions that's gonna give you so much more hints such an observer strategy here is key it's about asking yourself what they want from you not what you want because they know what you want you want a job they just see you as somebody that's looking for a job and let's be honest that's just looking for a way to make a living they all are like that it's like no matter the age here the point of view you need to understand from what they actually coming from it's not about you saying what you want but more than what they want from you and you need to base your speech on that when you actually shift your mind mindset that makes a difference i'm telling you that makes a difference Thing like really business lawyer related of course still that kind of really important corporate dress code you need to have no matter how old you are <laughs> you can actually like have the little bit of like the corporate environment still having a little bit of like fun element to it without like overdoing it of course have a great dress and that's probably what i call my classic gray interview dress tied to my body it's really nice and still decent i want to say it's the leg which I think just brings a lot more sophistication like all the time your shoulders covered all the time so to so have a long vest or a long blazer which still has nice more subtle prints to it and definitely because of the square shoulders because it's really much more like structure you want to do that and you don't have to wear prints if you don't like it but this were great because they kind of bring a little bit more fun but they don't do it too much because it's still corporate so you want to be careful about that it's like the casual business look we're getting to more and more smaller companies like startups that actually explain uh when it comes to the way they would dress up and when it comes to interviews it's a bit that flexible but just remember and always remember and keep in mind it's still in interviews in a skater dress or a lace dress from head to toe because it's not a date night girls night out either still keep it classic uh dress pants with like shirts and having a blazer on top of it could do the deal pretty good a sweater which is like cream and not white a culotte that have been a trend for such a long time right now now i think that's just another really one key element you want to have in your wardrobe when it comes to like having interviews and you don't want to look too corporate so i really started from like the culotte element and just added a sweater but because i could add a little bit of friends but not too much i just went with my cheetah shoes which i think was just amazing because it's subtle 
it's classy but it's not corporate. Little cheetah print uh, pump is really great. Other outfit that I would suggest you to have, it I think it's not a great one, but like bring something different. Then I had like my a long uh, skirt from Zara that I bought last year, my black turtleneck. Because of the gold elements, it brings more brightness. If you have just something completely black and you have a black blazer you are gonna look really not necessarily good if it's not good for your skin tone so gold elements did really do make a difference the other elements of my outfits being a little bit more brighter and not necessarily black super bright but you can add a blazer on top of it as well you can add a coat on top of it to just like layer it up a little bit and just give a much more visual appeal like i like to say all the time so add more elements if you feel like it's like still plain to you a great element when it comes to like being business casual or getting to that kind of um, environment when it comes to working this tail that i think it's really something that you're gonna see more and more is to not have a really specific dress code really uh, not focusing themselves on having a kind of uniform for everybody again here i need to stress that it's not anything to the point where you need to come in a gown evening dress to work i'm just saying millionaires doesn't mean that you don't care about anything no 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 this guy is just a really great basic when you want to be like classy but you don't want to do too much everything that you're gonna add to it is just gonna be great i'm just saying add something interesting green uh, skirt with like uh, a plate t-shirt all around that of course i added some gold elements i think i'm just naturally drawn to like gold elements then they more prints the shoes that you see are prints as well so it's okay it's all good to just do that to just like show you that the thing that you can do is to add them print uh, shirts uh, my cigarette prints from top shop are much more brighter but they are really good at complementing each other like the colors are really great at complementing each other because they are opposite and you play with prints you definitely can do it it's not a great outfit that was pretty much it for like anything million else here I, I really hope you love this video you let me know if you like that kind of video any question of like any styling advice any styling struggle that you dealing with let me know in the comment section down below i'll be sure to respond to it in a video if you want me to and then i'm always available on my social media twitter instagram facebook snapchat and i have my email down below if you have anything that you are looking for like in terms of like consultation because i give consultation as well i'll be more than glad to do it you know see you guys on my second video of the week on thursday and like i say all the time smile because it's free and contagious bye salut les amis j'espère que vous avez aimé j'espère que vous avez adoré c'était vraiment une vidéo où j'ai parlé j'ai parlé j'ai parlé euh, millenials en français je sais pas si je peux dire millenials le concept derrière euh, le terme en fait ceux qui sont nés euh, à la fin des années 80 début années 90 comme c'est mon cas prend gros changement de style et euh, pour tout ce qui concerne euh, les entrevues les types de tenues qu'on peut mettre j'ai vraiment fait un point là dessus euh, la, la classique jupe noire le classique tailleur noir et la chemise blanche like non il est temps de passer à autre chose je vous un petit peu à euh, expliquer ce qu'il y avait lieu de faire de nos jours où il faut quand même je pense que la clé derrière tout ça c'est de vraiment garder tout ça classique de plus en plus, on a la création de petites compagnies, de petites PME et tout. Puis, euh, on met en avant plus de liberté quant à la, quant à la possibilité de s'habiller. Euh, pas de jeans troués, de notre quotidien, des éléments un petit peu plus euh, décontractés. Parce que on arrive à plus de liberté là-dessus. Vous avez aimé comment associer des pièces, comment associer des vêtements. Je fais des consultations en ligne. Laissez-moi savoir si vous êtes intéressé. Tout va être en bas mes réseaux sociaux en bas, mon adresse email en bas donc il n'y a pas de raison pour vous de ne pas pouvoir me joindre si vous avez des questions donc on va passer un super beau début de semaine je vous revois pour ma prochaine vidéo jeudi puis comme je dis toujours, souriez parce que c'est gratuit et contagieux bye